your mercy. Morning. Um, good to see you in church. We are praying that the good Lord will continue to bless us. He has been good to this country. In spite of all that is going on. The world is at a standstill. But Jesus is not at a standstill. He's still working. And walking in the midst of his people. And he cares about his people. Father, we thank you. For your precious word. We thank you for help in the time of need. We ask that you bless your word and bless us. us. Confirm your word with signs following. In Jesus' name. Somebody said amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are finishing our series on life and living it. Amen. Amen. I haven't forgotten we started a series before the lockdown the on the presence of God. And um, I'm just waiting for a couple more uh, weeks and then we'll continue with that. Those are going to be very powerful and interesting messages. That will change and transform life. Prophetically, I believe that God is about to lift up the church of Jesus Christ in this nation to a higher level. Nobody said amen. The one who said amen, get ready for that lifting up. I was listening to a very interesting story. Um, I have a father in the Lord who is not a Ghanaian. Uh, he didn't choose me. I have chosen him by television. One of the people I listen to periodically. And that is um, Adeboye. Of redeemed. Redeemed. Sorry, no. In my house, everybody knows he's, he's my father and the Lord. You know, he's the only one who's my father who I haven't seen before. And I will meet him. He's my father at a distance. He was given a testimony where, as a young man, and they went for some meetings, crusades. And um, in the night, they would sleep in a classroom block. And mosquitoes were worrying them. And everybody was going, pa, 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 pa. No, would you stop that, please? And people were just hitting their bodies. But he was sitting in a corner, very calm, sleeping. Then they, they came and asked him, how come we are all suffering and then you, you, are you mosquito proof? Why? Why is that you are not hitting your body? And he told them, come and see. So he did his hand like this. And then, you know, the mosquitoes were all over the place, so they came on his hand. 
And once they did that, oh, yes, I know. they were just falling off and dying. Now, he was talking about if you have enough power in you, affliction, sickness, and certain things cannot dwell in your body for long. Because you see, when they come, they will fall off and die. And I said, whoa, that's anointing. But we are living in a time where there is a grace being released. And I've been talking about it for the past few months. There is a level the church is coming to. And you have to strategically position yourself to take a mantle. So the, these days, when people behave in a way, I just look at you. I don't mind you cry. When you're supposed to do something for God, you won't do. Yeah, I don't mind you. Because God will take the donkey and use the donkey. Or something, mark my words, something is going to happen. The kinds of breakthroughs and unctions and wealth and lifting up that Jehovah God is going to do it takes available people. You cannot sit on the fence any longer. Anytime the church of Jesus Christ is persecuted, it grows and spreads. And many mighty things happen. Somebody hearing me. That is not my message, but I'm just telling you. So you will say, I didn't tell you. I told you. I'm not lying. The first time I saw it, I was shocked. I, I, I entered uh, Prophet L. Bernard's house in Accra. And I was coming back to the car. And then some of his guys came around me for me to pray for them. And as I stretched my hands to begin to pray for them, they were kneeling in front of the house. I saw mantles in the sky. Or jackets or coats. Bibiti say jacket and a coat by edition catasso. Plenty black ones. Plenty. The Lord told me. Whosoever will. These anointings are not Victor Saint transferring anointing or Archbishop transferring anointing. There is a new strange and powerful anointings that are descending. But this one, they are hanging there. So if you want, take it. God won't stop you. But you have to pay the price. So when you are doing something for to come, I mean, one of the things about revival is this. Is that during revival, there are songs for revival. There's one of the songs when there was a revival in Canada and the US a couple of years ago. Come running, come running, come running to the mess. It was made during that revival. The Toronto revival. Toronto in Kenya, yes. That's when that woman made that song. Come running to the messy seat. So, praise and worship and music is vital. Where is Jojo? Jojo, no way. He's up there. Are you there? Let me see your hand. Go. So are you hearing me? What's it? Yeah, okay. Are you also hearing me? What's so much? There are kinds, some kinds of songs God releases for revival. And if you don't position yourself as a, a somebody in the praise and worship team or in the choir and allow God to use you, you'll be there. There'll be people you never expected and God will lift them up. Because when there is revival, one you have to pay a price. 
And people don't like paying a price. The price of commitment. The price of prayer. The price of fasting. The price of seeking the face of God. Studying the word of God. People don't like to pay that price. See it, yeah. And so you never receive it. During the Azusa Street Re Revival, Azusa one time a man walked in. That could be a branch of people. He didn't have one of his arms. It was about halfway cut. During the meeting, they were praying. Then all of a sudden, the hand began to grow. I'm telling you. I have been at meetings. I'm not talking about somebody. Where I was at a retreat. Then there was this young boy. His leg was about two, three inches shorter. And then I saw the leg begin to grow. But there is a price to pay. You can't sit on the fence. And the people COVID is around. They say in the church to be affected. You stay there. The day that a mantle will, will descend. Nobody is coming here to come and uh, contact COVID. COVID or nobody. Nobody's going to force anybody to church. Now, 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 let me ask a question. Now, all the things they said about pastors and about churches, that people go to church because of offering. During the lockdown, when churches were closed, the pastors die. So for so now they've quite, they are quiet. They were talking now, uh, offering thing. I'm say, ah, sorry, offering thing. People were coming because of the. Offering. Now they can't say it anymore. They say they and when the government opened the churches to 100 people, and some churches say we will not open, they were insulting us. And eh, president said, Mumpa, sorry, Muslim go. These same people. And the funny thing is that some of them are believers. Yeah, when we to say, yeah, Christopher, when you come. We are positioning for a great revival. And not only will it take commitment, it will take time. Now when I'm talking about time, I'm talking about the fact that it will take you to have time for God. And, and precision of time. Now, the precision of time is being at the right place at the right time doing the right thing. And he said, wait in the upper room. For I will send the promise of the Father. If he said, and then 50 days, Pentecost. Pentecost. Then the Holy Ghost descended. But they were at the right place. Doing the right thing. You cannot miss timing with God. And when you're right on spot with God, great things happen in your life. And that is vital for revival. During revivals, in Kenya, I, beer bars will not be forced to shut down. They will shut down because the beer bar owner himself will become born again. Now, during revival also, strange things happen. Strange things. Yeah, Things that baffle the mind and the imagination. Things that people cannot connect with. And they wonder. And then you know that this one there is not magical. Not. Because you see, during revival, the force is replaced by the reality. All these false prophets around. And then whatever they are doing. Eh? When revival comes. They cannot do their falsehood anymore because people will now see this is the real thing, and this one is the false. And Kenya, you know, one year one free Yamino, Obeja, when you might be sent for any baby, and we'll be able to say, Wait for Yamin, and wait for Yamin. Are you listening to me? So there will be strange miracles. It is strange happening, strange occurrences. Where people will be just walking around and then the Holy Ghost will arrest them at Kedjetia. Because the whole of Ghana
Ghana will be blanketed by the glory of God. Yes, the government has done well. Uh, COVID control, do this, do that, do that. But let me tell you one thing. <laughs> one of the greatest reasons why, in my opinion, that COVID hasn't completely destroyed us here in West Africa is because of the covering of prayer. <laughs> if you are clapping for Jesus, clap better. The covering of prayer. I want to tell you to come and pray. You won't come. You don't know that some prayer you are praying is affecting a brother or sister of yours in America. So in the next few weeks on a Friday, we'll do our 24 hour prayer one more time. It is You must commit yourself to something. Leave your work there. Come before God and see His glory in your life. The things you have been looking for will become a piece of cake. What once you connect to God, because revival is coming. If you say in Kenya, I promise you, you will come to church and you are sick. You don't even have to enter. By the time you're outside and you come within a hundred meters radius of this place, the power of God will affect you and change you and transform you and heal you and deliver you. Receive that grace in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Revival is coming. Kenya no eba. And the good part is that I will make sure family chapel is a part of that revival. Because I will do what I have to do. And if you will not do what you have to do, you will be put aside. Somebody I never knew called me on the phone recently. About three, four days ago. And then he said, I am Pastor So So and So. In fact, he called uh, Auntie Hannah, was it? And said, uh, I want to talk to your pastor. Auntie Hannah was saying, And she said, What is it? He said, Oh, God says I should tell him something. And so he called me. And he said, uh, I don't know you, but God says I should tell you this. I was there and I had a vision. And I saw a church name written in the clouds. So family chapel. So family church. Family church. Family church. They said it's in Kumasi. So I called my son. And I said to my son, Do you know this church? He says, Oh, it's in Kumasi. The pastor's name is Reverend Victor. So he went online. Now, so for trying to trace me, and we call Abel for video. And he found Auntie Hannah's number there. And who Auntie Hannah and call there? And we friend. He says God says there is a lifting up for your church. But see, and page be bad. But the church you are in charge of, something is about to happen. Say be 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 about. And says God says there will be strange and crazy things. The dead will be raised. Death and death. Things are going to happen. And you mark a seal of this. We are in a generation before the coming of the Lord. Position yourself strategically. Be committed to the things of God. And there's one thing about revival. If you want to buy into revival, you have to love souls. Whatever you do must be connected to winning souls. And once you connect yourself to the winning of souls and contributing to the winning of souls, great things will happen in your life. Because a door, a factual door of opportunity is being opened. You see, with the Holy Ghost, you can't do libi libi laba laba. You pretend you lie small, you know, before God. You are doing some conny conny ways and then sometimes you come and say, hey, it is not true. You are trying to, no, 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 no. Don't behave like Ananias and Sapphira. Be truthful with God. This is who I am. Help me. One thing I've tried to do over the years is not to pretend. Because me, I know that God is there. Papa, Papa. And I don't want to fall on his wrong side. 
There is coming a revival. Get ready for it. In your home, you become more than a, a, an evangelist and a preacher and a pastor and an apostle and prophet and a teacher in your home. In your workplace, you will become the mama girl there. You become the papa there. Because of the grace of God that is upon your life. You will be prospering. Because joy revival, there is prospering for the people of God. People don't even know why you are prospering, but you are prospering. Because revival attracts prosperity. I release prosperity upon your life. This day, in the mighty name of Jesus, I cause the grace of God to be sung upon you. I cause an open heavens over us. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cause liberty. I cause a tapping into the mantles of God that by the price we pay, a mantle is descending upon our lives. Let there be revival. Let it start now. I command right now that grace comes upon us that we will be ready to access that grace there will be unction to function I will walk in the beauty of holiness that Jehovah God will cause us to be favored we will become the apple of God's eye in this nation and Ghana will rise up one more time let the evil forces let the evil forces that have been compressing Ghana I command them to take off their hands in the name of Jesus as an apostle of God in this land I decree that sickness leaves our shores that death leaves our shores right now I take authority over the spirit of death and I bind the spirit of death and the works of the spirit of death and I decree life for everybody in family chapel it doesn't matter who you are, whether you are a doctor, whether you are a congregation member, whether you are a pharmacist, whether you are a business person, whether you are a servant of God, we and our children and our generations, our husbands, our wives, we live long, we are protected in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against any principality assigned to Ghana and I bring down the throne of that principality and I make a declaration now take your hands off Ghana now I decree peace I decree joy I decree prosperity I decree help in the mighty name of Jesus Christ every door of blessing that has been padlocked the padlock is broken in the name of Jesus I cause us to access what is ours in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I hear the sound of victory from warfare and I decree victory 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 victory, victory for generations in the name of Jesus lift up your voice and shout hallelujah If you are clapping for Jesus, clap better. I have closed.